All right, then. But only if you help me with the bedtime stories. It'll be a pleasure. Oh, can, can I have a word? Yeah, all right. No, time. You know, I told you that someone was spreading the dirt about Simon. Well, it was Cindy. Cindy? Yeah. You know her better than anyone. I mean, she's practically your daughter-in-law. But couldn't you have a word with her? You know, try and find out what's going on. Michelle, if people are spreading rumours, I'd rather ignore them. But it's more than just rumours. She said she saw Simon with another girl. She only saying that because she's jealous. Yeah, but then why should she be jealous? She's got Ian. I know that, but I don't think she's ever really forgiven Simon for jilting her. I could see it in her face. Just leave it, Michelle, all right? Leave well alone. All right. Yeah, I'm already. Yeah, I'm not much trade about. Thought I'd call it a day. Oh, can I get anything? Cup of tea, sandwich, toasty. No, thanks. Have you made your own, by the way? Oh, that. Oh, it's much better. I'm gonna keep the bandage. You don't make Ali feel guilty. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. He was in here earlier on. No, he only had the cheek to ask for it all back. Well, I can. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. That bloke is in a mess. Why don't you have a look at this place? It ain't much better, is it? Oh, you'll make a go at me in love. I know you will. Yeah. Oh, cheers, mate. Thanks. Thanks. Mum, do you think Cindy's um, fixed this what? Why well, not? Do you think she's all right about the baby? I just can't understand her. I mean, I've tried talking to her. I've tried making plans, but well, she hasn't showed the slightest spark of interest. Well, not everybody feels so great when they're pregnant. Yeah, I know, but well, it's as if she's trying to avoid the old subjects. Oh, look at it from her point of view, though, Ian. I mean, there she is. She's a young, pretty girl, and all of a sudden she's going to have a baby. And she's not married. Yeah, I know, but we're going to be. She knows that. She probably thinks you don't mean it. Oh, come on, Mum. How could she think that? Well, set a proper date for the wedding, then. I bet you that'll make a lot of difference. I mean, honestly, what's she got at the moment? Eh? She's got no security whatsoever. She's got a nowhere proper to live, a boyfriend without a proper job, no wedding date. So all I've got to do is get this place back on its feet, find somewhere for us to live and get her to marry me proper. And then it's going to be as sweet as roses, will it? Oh, something like that, yeah. yeah. And it's not Pete, yeah? No. God, I've got to clear up on me on that. Do you know where Pete's got to? No. Ugh. There he is. Where have you been, you blighter? Why did you dress up like that for? Because I've been to court, that's why. Court? Oh, what, about that driving? Yes, went this morning. You never said. I know, but I told Paulie. Look, Arthur, I didn't want any fuss. I think we've all had enough of court cases recently. I just want to get it out of the way all on my own. The old thing took 20 minutes. I've ended up with a three months suspended sentence, 300 pound fine, and disqualified for driving for five years. Which happens to now mean that Ian can drive me to the airport. The airport? What, you're really going to do it, then? What? Look, Arthur, I said the case only took 20 minutes, didn't I? Well, come on, anywhere I can ask me what I've done for the rest of the day. All right, what did you do with the rest of the day? Got this. What's that? I'll take it, won't bite. You really have done it, then, Pete? Yep. Look at Wick to Auckland. Auckland? New Zealand? Oh, Pete, you're not going to New Zealand. Oh, yes, I am, Kath. I'm going to see Kenny. I've always wanted to go, never had a chance. Then I won the Freeman and I didn't think he meant it. So I rang Kenny, and he said to me, come on over, Pete, any time you like, straight after the court case. So I'm on the next flight. Well, how long for? Six weeks. Six weeks? Arthur, we can have a chat about the stall later. But when are you going, Pete? Thursday. This Thursday? Yep, this Thursday. Chance of a lifetime, and I'm taking it. 